one, two. Chicken check. Chicken check. Check. How you guys doing? Bye. All right. Thank you so much for coming out. This is a lot of fun. We're the men's ears. This is a. Uh, this is the second of, of two nights at uh, the Fighting Cox, and uh, it's been awesome so far. And we just want to thank Banquets for uh, inviting us down and doing this. Uh, they've always been so wonderful to us. So we, this is actually our first in-store ever. We've never done one before, so we'll see how it goes. I remember you well at the Sun Hotel next to Fernando's Corner Store Grocery. Behind the factory spoils where no soul should be found. We kept our voices low from the city. And I played you a song about the town that I was from while well, Dan played Casey while sipping on a Mickey's. And we drank to forget that our lives were a wreck. That's when I realized you're the only pretty thing left. Fortunate, uh, fortunate enough to grow up around a bunch of really strong women, a couple sisters and my mom and stuff like that. And then they reached a certain age and it started to get a little bit weird. They started getting really concerned about their image and stuff like that. And I think that a lot of that comes from uh, unnecessary pressures from uh, you know the consumer society, you want to call it, putting billboards in your face that you didn't ask for. But this song's about that. It's called Mail Call. Of the outside, it was a rainy, miserable 
Um, and we were passing through Cincinnati and uh, Tom wrote me a poem for a cigarette <laughs> and uh, this is the poem that we turned into a song it's called Kentucky Gentleman Long Ohio's been short and sweet. We'll 
You know how you ever, your friends, they come up to you and they're like, oh, I want to be a comedian. I'm like, Let me tell you a joke. Let me tell you a joke. And like, I feel like bands always do that at this point. So we're all kind of hanging out and uh, he, stops, he stops the party and he's like, I've been doing stand-up a lot and I want to tell you this joke. And the joke was, I can't even remember it, but it was so, so bad. And I don't know the guy at all. And he's really uncomfortable hanging out with us. He's like, I don't know if I should be here. And he really wants to. It's kind of one of those things where we're all just sitting there and he just interrupted everyone talking. And we all just kind of stared at him. And he told the joke and then we just continued to stare. And no one said a word. There wasn't even like, I couldn't even do like a... (laughs) Because I didn't know, it was, we were like, was that it? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And we just went to, back to talking about whatever. That's also one of those situations where we probably felt more awkward than he did. No, he felt so <laughs> insanely awkward. Imagine just telling a joke in front of a bunch of people that you don't know. And just like, it it bombed worse than you could possibly say. It's worse than a bomb. It was like the worst thing ever. So, uh... In his memory, I wasn't going to tell a joke. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to finish the song, I guess. Oh wait, now I don't have a guitar. Uh-oh. Oh, it's 
stand really still. Uh, start from that second verse, huh? I've been having a horrible time Pulling myself together I've been closing my eyes to find Why all good things should fall apart Why all good things should fall apart Why all good things should fall apart
After I graduated from high school, I did the smartest thing in the world and moved out of my parents' house in with uh, our drummer, Joe. And this song is uh, what happened like two months later. Who would have thought? This is uh, probably the first song we ever wrote to. Yeah, I think it was. Honest. Yeah. The show is 18 plus tonight for everybody who couldn't go and came to this instead. Uh, we really appreciate it. The song's called Casey. <laughs> Here we go.
search for that old place that we found forever ago. Oh, and we could take my car. Yeah, she's still got the spirit. We could live, we could live, we could live. And no longer just have to hear it. Me and Casey, we used to get drunk before we did the dishes. Oh, every evening, me and Casey used to get high and listen to our boredom. Cause it was so much easier, yeah, it was so much easier than dealing with everything. Yeah, it was so much easier than dealing with everything. Yeah, it was so much easier than dealing with everything. Thank you so much. Okay.